Hey Jeff here, your YouTube reviewer of New England Brews. And welcome back. Today from the Trout River Brewery of Lindenville, Vermont. This is their flagship ale. This is the Trout River Rainbow Red. The Trout River Rainbow Red is brewed in Lindenville, Vermont. The brewery itself doubles as a pizza parlor on the weekends and they have uh, about a half a dozen or so beers available in bottles around New England. And uh, if you go to the brew pub itself, you can uh, find probably um, a dozen or so more choices available that they don't put into bottles. But this is the one that is uh, their most popular one in the bottle. Uh, Trout River brews, though, are not widely available outside of New England probably mainly in Vermont and New Hampshire and maybe into Maine a bit. And I think I may have seen them in Massachusetts from time to time. But uh, I see them regularly in New Hampshire and of course in Vermont. Um, the ABV on this is around 5% ABV. This is a, a, a red style ale. And um, so we shall give it a try and see what it's like. All right, an American red style ale, they call it. Oh, yeah. I always forget to do this, don't I, lately? You want to take a look at the bottle cap? Some people like to look at the bottle cap before they open it. Some people like to kind of take a look at the bottle itself. Uh, kind of take a look at it before you open it. They have this nice artwork on all of their labels, though, I will say that. There goes the cap. Some smoke coming out of here. Pour it. Ooh, it's very aromatic. I can smell all kinds of aroma out of the bottle. Whoa, is that a homey one? Ah, spill over. Yes siree, aren't I getting good at that? I think I'm getting good at that anyway. <laughs> right, just barely. Let's put this Trout River Red bottle in between this old wine hard red. And this, this was a, a foray by Anheuser-Busch many years ago, the Red Wolf. Don't remember much about either one of those particular beers, but that's not what we're here to talk about today. We're here to talk about Trout Tri Tri River Rainbow Red. So, without further ado, you can see that it, uh, it's a very a highly carbonated uh, medium amber pour. Kind of orange, kind of copper. And I know my camera doesn't really reflect that as well. I think I need better lighting mainly. Uh, but um, as I look at it up close, I can see this kind of uh, copper, medium amber, orange color with a huge head. I know on the camera it's probably going to look a, a little darker than that, but alas, that's how it goes sometimes until I can uh, splurge on some new lighting for my videos. But anyway, let's check out the aroma. Okay, there's a lot of character going on here. Mm -hmm. Definitely I'm getting yeast and malts, a little caramel malt, but there's also a, a solid fruity ester going on here. Kind of nutty malts, I would say. And the fruits, uh, it's, it's more like the uh, juicy fruit type. And when I talk about juicy fruit as opposed to meaty fruits, uh, meaty fruits are, to me are kind of like banana, pear, apple. This has a juicier fruit to me, more akin to a berry of some kind. And uh, grape, also maybe a little grape is what I'm getting on this too. That, um, that might be a better way to describe it. But needless to say, there is a lot of fruity character as well as the yeast and the malts in this one. All right, let's check out the taste. Thin to medium body. Um, chewy. That's probably one way to say it. Hmm. Mm. Um, but the, the taste, though, is definitely uh, got a, a malt character. Uh, it does have the characteristics you expect in a red uh, with that slight fruity character. Like I said, the aroma is kind of of grapes. Uh, but the fruit taste is more like an apple to me closer to the apple flavor uh, than the uh, grapey aroma. Hmm. So maybe my description a few minutes ago is wrong. I'd like to define between meaty fruits and between uh, juicy fruits. This has a bit of both, I guess. Well, that's probably the best way to describe that. So, let's see what else. 
Hmm. It does have a, a a clean finish, not a crisp one per se, but a clean finish. Um, not terribly dry. It's um, it's but it's got a nice you know pleasant finish. It does have you know a bold character in its finish. Hmm. Wow, I already drank that whole thing down. All that's left is the foam. But um, and maybe I'll let it settle down a bit. So, um, but that's it's not a bad beer. I mean, uh, you know, lots of times Trout River beers, I always find they have a, a real certain home brew quality about them. Um, they they always seem like they're not quite there yet. But this one, I can see why this is their flagship ale because it's really uh, it's really got you know a finish to it. Uh, it feels like a finished beer. It, it feels like. A, it's got some nice character with the malts and with the fruity characters that are in there and the uh, you know the moderately bitter slightly bitter uh, qualities in it so it's really not a bad beer at all um, sits well on the palate doesn't leave any kind of an aftertaste uh, easy to drink I will say that something you could probably drink well with uh, you know good uh, dinner or something if you're gonna have dinner with it so it's really not a bad beer. I'm, I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with this beer. I have had it many times before, but I've never really sat down to review it. So um, now I can go back and write down some reviews on the various websites I visit and um, give me something more to talk about. But anyway, that's it for today. This is the Trout River Rainbow Red Ale. Thanks for stopping by. I'll catch you again next time.